It says of 33,000, and I don't know what the is is. I don't know what my, my value is going to be. If we cross multiply, we get 100x equal, what is that going to give you? $792,000. 792? Yeah. Joe, get 792,000? Yes. If we divide by 100, X is, what is that? $7,920. Oh, now, now stop for a second, okay? Stop. What did you just find? Did you find the value of the truck, or did you find the amount that you lost? Okay, so, so you kind of need to know that though, right? Because if you do this math on your own in real life, and you go, wow, I guess my truck is only worth $7,920. I'm going to come buy your truck from you, turn around and sell it for twenty grand because it's still worth more than that. All right? So you need to know that what this is, you found 24% of $32,000. You found what you've lost. This is how much money you've lost. Now figure out for me how you, you find how much it's worth. Subtract it from the original. Good. Yes. Okay. So you're still doing this step, right? You're still subtracting. It's only you're doing it in a different place now. You're still going to be subtracting this. So to find out the actual value, you'll take your 33000 you'll subtract off your $7,920, and this is going to give you how much your truck is worth now. How much is it worth now? 25080 So you know probably after about two years, three years maybe, I don't know how the depreciation will work for trucks, but if you bought your truck for thirty three grand and it's, it's decreased 24%, so you could look at a depreciation curve for that particular vehicle, which they have those, you know that it's going to be worth $25,080. That's how Kelly Blue Book works. They look at depreciation and say, oh, well, based on your mileage, here's a depreciation curve, here's how much it is worth now. And then a few more miles, here's how much it's worth now. Do you get the idea? That's how that works. So you could find out your own depreciation if you knew percentage-wise how much it's decreasing. Would you raise your hand if you feel pretty good about percent increase and decrease? Good, 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 good. Now we've got a couple more applications of, of percentages. We're going to talk about a little bit of problem solving, real applicable stuff for you. This stuff you deal with literally if you buy anything on a day-to-day -day basis. We're going to talk about sales tax first. We'll talk about uh, commission, how people make commission. Well, we talked about that already, but we'll, we'll set it in stone now. And we'll talk about discount, how you can get a discount on things.